Hey guys, so today was good. Um, no, I did not have my college class this morning. However, I did have to get up at like 6.30 this morning so I could get ready and leave in time to make three meetings that I was supposed to be at. Those meetings being um, student council, which, which is number one on my pre on my priority list because we haven't had... Ooh, my pillow is like all in my face. We haven't had a meeting for juniors since, like, August or September, and we're supposed to have one every month, like, the third Tuesday of every month, plus every Wednesday that we have homeroom, when we don't have stuff to do. Like, sometimes in homeroom we'll have a survey to take or something, but that survey takes all of about two minutes, and then we should probably have student council afterwards. However... We don't. So, we never have meetings, so we never know what the heck is going on. However, I officially now have all of my student council service hours, which is nice because I had to get 14 service hours and I got it in about a two weeks time. Because I got 12 hours from the paint your parking spot thing, and then I got... Three hours from uh, the very first day of school when we give a tour to the freshmen. Um, so that's pretty much. Oh, I just have like this giant ass hair. Like, you can sort of see it. Like, it is like way out here with my arm. And it is, like, attached to my head, and I don't know where it's coming from, because I don't have any... Well, actually, yes, I do. It's probably one of, like, these hairs. But anyway, that was just weird and kind of off. Actually, no, that was very off. But anyway, um, and then I was supposed to have a student ambassadors meeting, which I didn't want to go to anyway, just because I really don't want to be in student ambassadors anymore. I went to the first meeting, and one, I hate the person that does it, because she's a horrible guidance counselor, and she's very, very mean and rude, so... She's not even my guidance counselor. She was, she is now the sophomore's guidance counselors. I have Mr. Sweeney. I like Mr. Sweeney. Mr. Sweeney is very, very nice. Um, I don't like Miss Neff. Anyway, um, other than that, I was supposed to have a SkillsUSA meeting, which is the one meeting that actually ended up happening. However, only two people showed up. Me and some other chick, the same one that was there a uh, couple weeks ago, and then Mr. Tilly. But Mr. Tilly had to leave early, so, because he had, like, some training thing down the road from the school, so, whatever. Um, but since I don't have a uh, first period, I almost said fifth period, I do have a fifth period, I have chem fifth period, since I don't have a first period... Um, three-fifths of the week. I just stayed in his class, and I cleaned his whiteboard, because he has this really, really nice, um, whiteboard cleaner spray, and it's very, very nice, and it's very powerful, because you spray it, leave it for, like, a minute, and you literally are watching the colors drip down, like, ones that have been erased, so, yeah. Um, and... I'm trying to think. Mm, and then after that, because I was in his class for like the first 10 minutes of, a, of his first period. And I know, I think I probably know like a third of his first period and most of them are sophomores. And my hand is shaking right now, so I'm going to stabilize my camera with my other hand. Um, and then I went up to the main office where I normally sit when I just have time to kill. Just because I really, really like the um the lady that I really like Ms. Zeller because she's like super nice and she loves it. almost everybody there are some people she's not a huge fan of but she loves like 99% of the students at our school so um I just hung out up there I did uh, I tried to do some history but I couldn't get anything pulled up because my computer didn't want to connect to our school's wi-fi which it's supposed to do because it is set up through our school so um, yeah, and then I just had my classes, 
and I had to go back to the college after school because I had to work on our project, which we finished, which is very, very nice. I'm so glad we finished the stupid thing um, today because... Uh, Maria had done a lot with the PowerPoint, and I had done a lot with the PowerPoint, so we just kind of, like, fused our ideas together, and it looks really, really nice. Like, I am so happy with how this turned out. It's beautiful. It is, it is fantastic. So, um, uh, after we did all that, uh, Grace, who is my spokesperson for it, um, she wanted to go to Sonic, because she had money, so we all got a small blast, which, after eating, like, not even half of it, and when I say small, I mean, like, the, it's, like, this tall, so it's really not that, that much, and if you know what Sonic is, it's technically a fast food place, but, like, because I can't eat fast food, like, it's gotten to the point where I can barely eat something like a milkshake or ice cream or whatever from there. Because it makes my stomach feel like I have ulcers. It's really, really, like, it, it hurts. It makes my stomach feel like I have ulcers, and it makes me um, throw up, pretty much. So, like, it's done it with ice cream. It did it with the blast earlier. You know, that's fun. Um, so, yeah. So, it's always fun, like, when you have friends who like to eat out... But, like, we don't go to an actual sit-down restaurant. We go to, like, a fast food place. And I'm just like, can I just have coffee? <laughs> or lemonade or something? Because I can eat that and, or drink that and be just fine. Because coffee is coffee. I mean, they don't... Coffee doesn't have tons of fat in it or tons of sugar or whatever. And Sonic's Blue Raspberry Lemonade is, like, my favorite drink ever. Because it's tart. But it's sweet, and it's not so sweet to the point of you feel like you're going to, or, like, you feel like you've just had, like, a full cup of sugar. It's just really nice. But anyway, um, then I dropped Emma off. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Then I dropped Jasper off at her boyfriend's house, and then I dropped Emma off, and then I dropped Grace off, and then I came home, and... I ate dinner, and I've been working on my history, and it's, like, 1.30 in the morning, and I'm probably going to be up to, like, 3 doing it, and then I have to get up at 7. So, if I am just, like, non-functional tomorrow, that's probably why. Um, anyway, I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.